Anybody got lower back pain? This moment. Okay, hold on, hold on. Now, let, let's clarify. There are many kinds of back pain. Any of you with back pain, if you stood like this, it's okay, but the second you start moving, it will hurt. Um, kindly, thank you. It has to be very exact. <laughs> Give or take. Okay, now, the way you heal back pain, I'm just basically going to baptize her. I'm joking. Okay. Okay, could you get out of your shoes? All right. Um, could you kindly stand over here? All right, everybody got a good, decent angle? All right. Uh, Danette. Okay, here's what I want you to do. I want you to gently move, uh, lean forward. As, wait, wait, wait. Not as soon as you feel any pain, you stop. That's it. Okay. All right, all right. Let's not make it worse. Could you face this way for me? Now, I want you to rub your hands. Press the center of your palms. We'll teach you a simple technique called distance scanning. What is it? Distance scanning. In other words, how to feel the energy of a person even though they're not in front of you. Here's the key. Number one, you have to know her name. Raquel Welch. No, I'm kidding. All right. <laughs> you said Danette? Okay. You visualize Danette right in front of you. Okay? Say her name in your mind three times. Say Danette. Okay. Say Danette. May we please feel the flow of energy in your back. Okay. Could you move your hair aside? Okay. Just stand there. You don't have to do anything. So do what I do, which is just from the top. Gently move your hands down her back all the way to the tailbone. The question is, does it feel even and smooth, or do you feel some level of irregularity? Is it even? If you were to close your eyes and move your hand down, does it feel smooth like, like a straight line? What do you feel that's different? Like what? Heat? Lumpy? Huh? Wavy? Chunky? Okay, in other words, not even, right? Please put your hand down. Okay, basically she has a big bulge over here, the big bulge over here, the lower back is almost empty. If I were to draw a picture for you, it'll look like this, like this, like that. So there's what you call congestion here, congestion here. Here's the question. If there's so much energy here, would I put more in? Why wouldn't I? It, it makes sense, right? But you know, a lot of people when they heal, they say, ah, oh, you have a problem, let me lay hands, put energy. So unfortunately, because of this, they don't do it on purpose. When they do that, they subconsciously push the dirty energy deeper. How many ever had a healing and then actually get worse temporarily for two, three days? That's because the body's trying to clean itself out. Diarrhea, sweating, flu-like symptoms. Yeah? How many have ever heard of this? They do such a good job helping the person. I'm sorry, I talk too much. They do such a good job, no more pain, no anything. Then the healer goes home and goes, oh. Yeah? You know why? They're so loving, they really want help so bad, they go like subconsciously. What is it? <laughs> Sucking up their arm. Subconsciously. So this is what we do in panic healing. May I? Could you move over this way? Okay, this is salt water. Uh, first of all, Danette, do you want to keep the pain? You want to get rid of it? I want to get rid of it. You sure? Yes. Now you're wondering, why would I ask such a dumb question? Believe it or not, there are people who intentionally keep their ailment because they gain more by having it. True or not true? Okay, you're not one of those. No. Nope. Thank you. <laughs> so, let's just do an experiment. Just keep your tongue in your palate. Since we're not working on the physical body directly, do I need to touch her? Uh, could you guys cross your arms? Close your eyes, just let go. She has a cord here to someone. It's a strong emotional cord. No? and it's preventing the flow of energy. Now, I'm not claiming to be psychic, whatever, but it's definitely some anger resentment, so can I pull it out? Do you want to keep it for a souvenir? The reason I have you cross your arms is so you can observe without being affected. Okay, let me move you in this angle so I'm not like... No, 
uh, some of you could see something. Could you, if you can, could you yell out what you're seeing that I'm pulling? Color. Great, it's old, old stuff. The nice thing about pranking, I do not need to know what's going on. I'm just a psychic janitor. We just pull it out. Okay, then it just let go, okay? Just let go. She's another one on the neck. You're wondering what this is? This is a magic potion. No, it's just basically uh, an astringent with lavender oil. It helps to break it up so I don't absorb it. How have you ever heard of healers when they heal, they throw it into a candle flame? You heard it before? Yeah, it's effective. The question is, which one's bigger? That or a flame? The other one, you go. This one, you go. Can't miss it. No, I'm serious. So, you know, there are a lot of ways to do it. We do it the most practical way. Anybody can get a hold of salt water. Anybody can use a bowl. Clear? See, pranic healing is not supposed to be so-called for the elite. It's for the everyday person to return the power back to them, to let them realize what they have and be able to help everybody they love. Almost done. Strange. Very strange. Now, in scanning, you'll be taught how to use your hand or your finger. So when I go like this, by the time I get to this area of our lower back, there's indentation in several parts, okay? I apologize, kids. So I go like this. So I'm going to use my finger, just go in and remove the block out of that in between those two vertebrae. Is it my imagination or is she moving? Okay, do you notice I'm closing my eyes? Why do you think I'm closing my eyes? No, to look more impressive. <laughs> no, you can eat. Almost done. Almost done. People like you, huh? There's another big one here. I'm curious, how many of you actually feel nauseated when I'm doing this? Yeah, that's why I had you cross your arms. Let it go. Let it go. And I thought this was back pain. Okay, the throat. Would you like to know a little bit about the throat? In her case, the throat is very congested. So if you're in a relationship where you're not expressing yourself, you're holding it back, it builds up on the throat, so you start driving <coughs> like that. And the throat chakra feeds energy to your neck. So that's why when people are stressed out, they do not express, they get neck pain. So in that case, let's see if we clean this one here. Hey guys, okay? I hope I'm not taking too much of your time. Huh? I know she's not complaining. Do you know why I had her move her hair to the side? How many of you ever heard, uh, why, why are monks bald? Because there's no barber shop in the monastery. No. Okay. If you study Chinese, in the Chinese tradition, they say 3,000 something worries per strand of hair. Okay, don't take, it, don't take it literally. You know, we Chinese people, we like to make everything flowery. Essentially what it is is, when you have negative thoughts, negative emotion, part of it impregnated in the hair. Okay? 
So one of the reasons that they're bald, not the only reason, one of the reasons they're bald, so that that's one less thing for them to worry about. When I was cleaning her back, I have no idea what's on her hair, so I don't want it in the way. So when you take a salt water shower or bath, it's a good idea to just run some salt water through your hair to disintegrate the negative thoughts, negative emotion. Uh huh. One more. Interesting. You know what? Instead of me doing this, put your hand like this. Like, look at my hand like this. Okay, ready? Repeat after me. Any, Any. Cords, cords connected, connected. to the nets, nets. Spleen. spleen. Okay, bring your hand out. Now slowly go in before your two hands intersect. Can you feel something? Who, make you, who can feel like a thickness? Okay, put your hand down. Now that's a man's crystal, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> All right. Now the purpose of the crystal is to focus energy and amplify it. Since this cord is so thick, I'm going to use this as an energetic knife. Wow, somebody's really draining you. Cut. The back spin, same thing. Cut. Okay. Sorry, takes so long. Almost done. How much energy did you see me give her? None. Open your eyes. Are you okay? Bend. How are we doing? Okay, simple question. Why is it that I did not have her give, give her energy for her to improve? The body heals itself. The reason it could not heal itself because the blockages in the back are preventing the flow of energy. Now, what if, okay, you said, I notice you're slow when you're bending, you're guarded. Is there still any pain in your back? Point to the area. Okay, could you stand over here, face this way? I'm not trying to torture you, okay? Okay, point to it. Okay, give me an idea. One inch, two inch, how deep? Approximately. Two inches. Okay, two inches. All right, could you guys look at the screen for me? So, if let's say after the cleansing, the body needs energy to repair itself faster, we draw energy from the universe and we pour it to the area that's needed. Number one, you never use your own energy. There's so much energy around, why would you use your own? But a lot of people subconsciously, then they complain of being drained. Okay, watch. You said this, could you point to it for me again? About two inches, okay. Uh, may I have a few more minutes of your time? Yes. Almost done. Yes. You wanna let this go, you wanna hold on to it? You sure? Yes. Okay, you heard her. Now, if you look at my hand, it's going counterclockwise. To do what? To draw it out. If you remember Karate Kid, wax on, wax off, this is wax off. Okay, now we'll energize it after we clean it more, now that the energy is flowing. So, we see some light, aim it at the area, breathe, allow the body to draw a tremendous amount of prana from the universe, Aim it at the area. Okay, hold on. Let me angle it like this. Yeah, it's kind of awkward. Okay, you just let go. Almost done. Just let go. Allow your body to do whatever it wants. 
Now, if I want to, to make the energy go deeper, I gently go clockwise. I think she's full. How are you doing? Okay, bend as far as you can. We're not done yet. You see, could you raise your hands for me? Do you remember what it felt like before she got up here? Check it again. You just relax. Well, do you, how many know this is not as bumpy? So the key is, all of you can do this. If you can smooth it out, remove the block, allow the energy to go in, the body knows how to heal itself. The question you're asking, how long would this last? The answer is, it depends. Depends on what? How deep the damage is. Right now, she's improving because the energy is going in and doing the repair. I can right? Feel it. Huh? I can feel it. Oh, okay, will you tell them? What did you feel? I can feel it. I mean, my, I can just feel my heart beating. Oh, okay. I can, just, I can feel the energy flowing into my body right now. It's, it's, it's amazing. Oh, okay, so you're feeling it. Okay, that's good. It's amazing. All right, thank you. Anything else you want to say? Or? Yeah. Thank, you. Huh. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you to everybody. Thank you. All right, thanks, Dennis. Thank uh, don't shower for the next two weeks. <laughs> no, no, um, but seriously, she should not, you should not wash the area for anywhere from 12 to 24 hours to allow the energy to go in. Okay. I should have told her that ahead of time. Okay.